Hello and welcome, my name is PewDiePie and this is Blade Runner 2019. Let's click to start. Readme.nfo. Here we go. Oh yeah. The year is the year 2017. No. Of the future. Yes. Oh my goodness. I've been relaxing in my office following a routine cyberjacking investigation when a call came on my Netlink phone. Stop cyberjacking. Yo, this is freelance police detective John Murphy, P.I. What's the hat down? Ignore the voice. Murphy, it's the ice Sten. I'm at the warehouses in the rift zone. Get your cyber ass down here pronto. What's the lowdown, Stent? I'm catching up on some dank memes here. Murphy, just get down here. Receiver jangling in protest as I slammed it home. I pushed myself up from my neurofoam cyber chair. Right, time to go crime solve a crime. All right, Gordon Freeman, who is now talking, and we all wish he would not be talking, is now gonna solve future crime. I had no use for old case files. I ran my hand down the back of the couch. Don't. An old Jolly Rancher, exterior thick with grit and old bits of hair. Devouring the candy, I returned to the task at hand. Ew. I never moved the wall hangings. They hide the mac and cheese stains, lol! LOL! I kept the dusty headpiece around to remember my lady by, but I'd never wear it again. Is your hat your lady, buddy? No time for memeing the W's now! I got a case to solve! You are so freaking punchable! My tr my trusty cyberjack! It's where I boogie board the meme waves! Die! The first dollar I ever made. I remember the case well. I was in the third grade. Mr. Boise, the janitor, had lost his teeth. I found them for him in the gym being used as a hockey puck. He offered to give me a dollar as a reward. It was at that moment when I knew I had discovered my calling. Hot spot interaction stolen from the postman only dies once by Dave Gil Gilbert. Gilbert. What? Okay. The synthetic plant had no need of human comfort. And neither did I. Green plastic, sprouting from grey synthodirt. Nothing would make my heart pound stronger than the look of this. State-of-the-art data retrieval system. Aluminum with a wild oats finish. Its administrative hulk glowered from the corner. Also, it tasted delicious. I preferred to keep my files scattered over the floor and desk. In my mind. The empty skull of the slackbot held no more usable parts. An old slackbot head sat on the cabinet, stripped of parts. They also were delicious. The screen array hummed, pumping out retina-frying cathode rays. Standard service key deck, an array of cherry brown clickety clackers, sitting there, refusing to type out my reports. They were glued together with some kind of white substance. Huh. Interesting. My desk's made of synthwood, so it's completely fireproof. Which kinda sucks, cause now I can't burn it for the insurance money. I ain't been able to get in my desk since I glued the drawers shut. Oh, more glue. It's been stuck to the desk since I spilled that mega juice all over the place. Anyway, if I take it, no one will know what my name is. Mega juice, if you know what I mean. I bought this as a present for D.I. Stent one time. Turns out he didn't want a desk plaque engraved with my name, so he let me keep it. I don't have any mission-critical material to input into the Brunner Holweg device. The Brunner Holweg device, a critical component for any self-respecting cyber detective. By utilizing a high-focus Sternoff beam, it achieves military-grade spectrum accuracy. It makes breakfast pastries! Tell me about your mother. Alright, what else do we have here? The ribbon was dry. As my heart. The latest from Sinai Industries allows you to input text straight onto hard copy, eliminating the need for shaking the printer's toner cartridge when it's nearly empty. That is the future. Casually, I leaned upon the globe, fell over as it spun beneath my hand, and quickly stood up again. A cheap rendition of pre-techno cataclysm Earth. Heh. <laughs> Yo, Winston! I'm going out. Want something? Oh, he's still mad at me for using him as a clothes horse. I'll get you a Calippo! 
The Arzatz Apparatus. The Replacement Apparatus. The Arzatz Apparatus towered in the corner, housing the semi-organic AI tasked with controlling the core functions of its operational area. I call him Winston. He turns the lights off for me when I leave the room. Does he? It's Button, the lovable Robopup. Yep, yep. I love you, Papa. It's Bimo. Chased a cyber disk right into an oncoming hover lorry. When you fix me, we'll have oh so much fun. Yep, yep. No, it's not... Uh, I keep him around for spare parts. No, it's not uh, Bimo, it's the other guy. Yep, yep. Papa, are you going to repair me now? Yeah, nah. Not really feeling it, you know? No reason to open the windows. Besides, ain't safe. Bio wasps and all that. Oh, wasps. The sky above the port was the color of television, tuned to a dead channel. Windy yesterday. I think the antenna blew over. The bustling metropolis city glows beneath a tungsten sky. Hey, there's my buddy Steve. 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 Hey, Steve. Steve! 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 Hey, Steve! You mustn't have seen me. It's time. Hmm. Looks like the door has been mysteriously welded shut. More glue? Why does this keep happening? It's a physical hard copy modernist technology. A note had been slid under the door, scrawled in dull ink on the back of an invoice for RAM or some other computery thing. It's from my secretary, Alice. Let's read. Dear Mr. Murphy, sorry to do this. I know you said you'd be able to pay me soon, but it's been 11 years now and I still haven't. Yada, yada, yada. Very kindly deposit what's owed me and I'll let you out. Regards, Alice. Hmm. P.S. The room is slowly filling with neurotoxin. Star Trek. Alright then. Let's jump. Yeah! Out the window! Good thinking, me! Only, here in the future, windows aren't made to be opened. Bio wasps and all that. I could just smash it with a big ass brick. Yep, yep. Papa, be careful. Damage to building exterior may prompt a fine of up to 10,000 Mio tuppence. Say, how much does your head weigh? Yep, yep. Exactly 2.7 kilo. In bricks. In bricks? Um, approximately one? All right, Gordon Freeman, you do your thing. You're coming with me, my brick-sized friend! Not sized. Thank you, Papa. I can't wait until I'm fully functional again. Yip yip! Yeah! Mass. Sure. Alright, let's get rid of this pathetic... Better find something to smash that window with. Something about brick size. Not sized. Mast. Hey there, Button! Yip yip! Let's play a game! Oh boy, oh boy! Yip yip! Fetch! Shards of glass twinkle in the polluted air as they race Button's head unit to the cyber street below. Beautiful. Stepping out onto the windowsill, I hailed a hover taxi, because it's the future. Yes. Minutes later, I stepped into the scene. Because it's the future. Look at that future wind wiper. I mean... Stench of fresh solder and stale street ramen. Reminder that I'd missed another meal. Yo, dudes! Good, you here. You know Detective Cop Franklin McJuice. He'll show you around the scene. Murphy? Juice? No thanks. I'm not thirsty. I was referring, of course, to his name, not offering a tasty beverage. Some might laugh at a hilarious back and forth like this, but this is the future, and laughter ain't gonna stop the net lords distributing their psi drugs to your space kids. Also, all laughter is banned. Look, Murphy. There's been a bad murder killing. I'll take you to the body. Oh, and Murphy, hope you skip breakfast. It's like a bad day at a jam factory in there, and I ain't talking marmalade. Unless it was particularly red and bloody looking marmalade. Well, get your ass in there. 
I'm staying here to keep the plebs out. Great talk, great talk. Crashed drone copter lay abandoned in the street. Air traffic had given up on tracking unmanned aircraft years ago. Wiping out a drone was almost considered a public service. Bloody sky spam! Looks like it's been stripped of parts already. The panel's bolted on with, like, bolts or something. I can't get it open. It's some sort of futury cyberpunk thing, I guess. Very good. That tape sure looks shiny. Delilah's beard, Murphy. Leave that alone. If I had some tape to spare, I'd have put it all the way around and wouldn't be standing here like a chump warding off foot traffic. What foot traffic? Potential foot traffic. What ifs? Police tape was strung up around the scene. Colored polymer warding away traffic. Well, let's get in there. Holy shitballs, dudes! What happened to that guy, man? Where's his face? And organs? At first we thought he was drifting in here, and drifted so hard his head exploded off its neck hole like some sort of spaceship, I guess. But then we thought, no, this has all the hallmarks of a murder gone deadly. A couple of kids found him in here about an hour ago. They thought it was some sort of voxel game, and were dressing up in the dead guy's guts like a pack of gut wearers. What a sick age we live in. Two kids, you say? Yeah, one's bad enough, but not a... you know... Pear juice? No thanks, I'm not thirsty. Okay, okay. What sort of clues have we found? This kind of thing's gotta have clues. Can't get close. The whole bloody puddle's gone electric. Have a look around, though. By all means. Well then, look. let's take a look at this crate. Yeah, looks heavy and uninteresting. Let's look at this box. Yeah, looks heavy and uninteresting. Let's look at this barrel. Yeah, looks heavy and uninteresting. I mean, really, look. In the future, barrels had advanced to the point where they hardly ever exploded when you shot them anymore, making their inclusion in video games even more contrived. Uh... The startlingly boring crate loomed boringly. It's very boring. The startlingly... Fine, fine, let's look at the bloodied axe. Heavy axe dripping with gore, lodged in the side of a wooden crate. Like the pain of my daily life lodged in my back. Neato! A bloody murder weapon! I'd better take it as evidence. Evidence that I am the owner of one sweet axe! Stupid Gordon Freeman. I ain't giving away my sweet axe, and I shouldn't go shopping on people too much. Not too much. Body parts of multiple victims are scattered around the scene. A body lies slumped in the corner. Yeah, now, I value my non-electrocuted life. I can't reach it without being fried like an egg on a radiator that's really hot because the owner used water instead of the correct radiator fluid for their model of car and then towed a really heavy load up a hill for, for ages. Oh, I see. Power board, hijacked by rifters. Wires poured from it like entrails from a dying triceratops. Stray cable dancing as it pumped current through the bloody mess on the floor. Why do you have to hate on Rifter so hard? You don't know who did this. I can't reach it without doing that thing where you flash black and white and you can see my skeleton! That would be cool. I would like to see if you do that. I can't reach it while all those zippy zaps are going on. Just try. Trust me. First I gotta go shut down the power somehow, lol! But trust me, lol! Lake of plasma and hemoglobin, lit up periodically by sparks from a down cable. Body parts of multiple vic- First I gotta- Yeah- I, I can't reach it without doing that thing where you- f I can't reach- I can't reach- I can't reach- First I gotta go- sh I can't reach it without being fried like an- Come on man, I want you to die. Oh well. Well, I guess we turn off the power. Woohoo! <laughs> Bo lizard! That should take care of the power inside. You might have not noticed, but this made the thing go down. Huh, <laughs> the door slammed shut. When did that happen? Hey, get me out of here. It's pitch black. No biggie juice. 
I'll just lift it back up again. Hurry! I can't breathe in here! I struggled with the heavy door, manly biceps flexing like a wobbly trifle. Yeah, that's not happening. Give us a hand, Juice. I can't see. It's pitch black and I've stepped on something. I think there's something moving in here. <laughs> Lol! Get sent to help. Jeez, relax already. I'm taking care of it. Let's just smash the door. It'd take me weeks to chop through that thing. Ugh. All right, all right, all right, let's walk over here. Hey, big man. All right, Stent. Murphy. Think you could lift that door over there? Sure, I could, but I have to maintain the perimeter. Can't have random members of the public stepping into the scene. Couldn't I do that? It's not that I don't trust you, but, uh... Okay, I don't trust you. I ain't never seen you stand still for more than 12 seconds. Murphy! Sorry, what? I thought I saw a cute puppy chasing its own tail, but it was just a bit of empty space. LOL! Find something else to warn people away, and I'll help you out. LOL. Okay, LOL. I'll just take the taxi, LOL. I clambered into the taxi, yelling the address of my office over blown speakers that screeched out distorted Bali dub. LOL, there's a robot, LOL. Hey, little dude, what you up to? <clears throat> Repairs to residential superstructure. Cool, cool. Say, I like your hat. I could use a sweet flashing sign. Mind if I borrow? <clears throat> Interfering with city maintenance is punishable by mandatory reality television participation. Can't reach him out there anyway. Hmm, hmm. Well, we could try. I can't reach him while he's out there. Maybe I can lure him inside somehow. All right, let's just smash yeah, something. Yeah, I don't want to ask that. Maybe there's something more useless to smash. Manta ray? If I smashed that, the drone could probably tell it needed fixing. But then where would I get all my dang memes? Mayhaps there's something else to ax up. Uh, the toaster? That wouldn't make a very good filling for a Danish pastry. What? Typewriter? Yeah, I don't want to ax that. Maybe there's something more useless to smash. Definitely the globe. Yeah, I don't want to ask oh, that. come on. Maybe there's something more useless to smash. Okay, let's finish the pup. Yeah, I don't want to ask. Really? Okay, how about the... Yeah, I don't want to... Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I don't... Okay. Is it murder if it's only a semi-organic AI? <laughs> only one way to find out. <laughs> Didn't feel like murder. Let's try again. Is it murder if it's... <laughs> Didn't feel like murder. Is it murder... <laughs> we can do this all day. <laughs> Is... All day. <laughs> Alright. I can't... Maybe I... Hey, little dude. Come in here where I can mess with... I mean... To help you! Conferring with Central Intelligence. Relocating for priority repair. My god, you poor thing. Do not worry, I will have you fixed up in no time. Bzzzt, goodbye. Yo! Mind if I ask you a question? Hilarious. My god! What have I done? My poor... Poor axe! Yes, Gordon Freeman, just take the thing. Flashing neon on a retractable pole, subtly instructing its viewers to Beware! There's something to beware of here! The caution sign was totally baller, with its sweet flashing lights and stuff, so I took it with me. What a mess! Poor Winston! What a mess! Maybe I'll roll him out the window later. Judd broke my axe! Indeed. The drone's toolbox lay forgotten on the floor. Rummaging through the toolbox, I took the only tool usable by human hands. A hefty power wrench. Fantastic. Let's leave. Using the space taxi. I mean, hover taxi. Because it's... future. 
Traveling by hover taxi was quicker than by hover bike and didn't require you to tuck your pants into your sock to avoid getting hover bike chain grease on your leg. Yeah, hover bike chain grease is the worst. Check it out, Stent! An inanimate object could do your job! Can an inanimate object kick your ass, Murphy? Probably! <laughs> All right, Stent! Murphy! Think you could lift that door over there? Yeah, let's give it a go. Gah! Moses, mother of Christ! That thing is heavy. Find something to prop it up, will you? All right. Uh... Here. Yo! Lift that door up and I'll jam it with this power wrench! Right. Alright! Let's get in there so I can do some private dicking! I told you never to say that. Gene the Baptist, that guy's a mess. I know, right? Horrifying! And then, there's this murder scene! <laughs> yes, very funny, Murphy. Very funny. All right, let's take the wrench. Nah. Let's um, mess with the power. I'm not messing with the wiring, even with the power out. All right, how about the smashed up insides? I don't think there's any good bits worth taking. They're all second rate cuts. You know what you're talking about. Careful to avoid getting blood on my Blizz trench coat. I rifled through the victim's pockets. What's this? Matchbook. Logo of a local Cyberoki joint printed on the front. Hmm. Interesting. Some kind of clue, I guess. I slipped it into my pocket for later examination. I flipped open the matchbook. A single name scrawled inside. Zenice. Like Denise. With an X. Because it's the future. Indeed. Because it's the future. Let's put this body on fire. Don't think that'll work. I don't want you to think. Yo, Juice! Feast your eyeballs on this! Sure, Murphy. Very nice. Hey, check it out, Stent! Stop showing me every bit of junk you pick up. Okay, okay, okay. I don't really want to go feeling around in there. But you do. You do. What the hell? <laughs> Ow. Ow! Wait a sec, this guy ain't dead. Oh shit, me bad. What's this guy's deal? That ain't no guy, man. That's a damn slackbot, dude. An AI android, here, in the future. But if it's a <laughs> slackbot, what's with all the guts and smashed up insides every which way by God? I'm a crazed AI killing machine on a murder death spree. Take a look at me. Well, this just won't do at all. I guess we'd better take him downtown. Cool, cool. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute first, you guys. Well, I guess let's use the matchbook. Hey, check it out, Stent! Stop sh Okay. Don't think that'll work. Let's take the freaking power wrench. Pain, arcing hot lightning through aching muscles. I made a grab for the power wrench. Get him, Stent! Cleave his head in with this baby! Can't see a damn thing. Where is the mechanical bastard? Oh, feck, he's got an elect gun! There you are! That stopped him. Everyone okay? It's dark as a rifter's ass in here. Interesting... word. Oh my damn, dudes! Juice has been juiced! Sweet Lady Buddha, you okay? Ah, me insides. They're bleeding out of me, like... Like... Juice. Juice? I kinda like that. Oh, it's all going hazy. Hang in there, dude! You ain't lulled your last meme yet! No, that's it for me. Everything's gone all neon, like a Galway sunset, all yellowy red. What's the word? Orange juice? No thanks. I'm not thirsty. thirsty. 
I knew then that this would be no simple case of cyberjack Jenny's hooch and junk on the futu reel. Things had gotten real dank, real fast. Well, another case successfully wrapped up. Boy, could really go for some juice right now. And then they never made a final game, because adventure games are dead, just like YouTube. Murder Site 2017. For freelance police detective Jonathan Murphy P.I., it was just another slow day boogie boarding the meme waves in the dystopian near future until he was called down to the Rift Zone to investigate another case of murder gone deadly, a case that Murphy won't soon forget. I mean, there's no reason he would. It's not like he's been asked to memorize a really long number or something. I can remember loads of dumb stuff from like 20 years ago and none of it was anywhere near as exciting. Play as post-millennial investigator John Murphy as you point and click your way through a soft-boiled cyberpunk detective story featuring over 20 minutes of recorded dialogue, a lot for a game that's only 10 minutes long. What can I say? Dumb cyberpunk jokes are fun to write.